Hello, my name is Rita Horner. I'm a technical marketing manager in the MixSignal IP group. And I'm David Rennie, a senior analog design engineer in the MixSignal IP group. David, in past we have talked about CTLE and DFE equalizations. But what about adaptive equalizations? What is adaptive equalization and is there any use for it? Or are we just merely adding enhancement and overhead to our phi design? Thanks, Rita. This is a question which has become more and more significant as our equalization has become more and more complex. If we look here at a set of channels, and this is just a small subset of the channels that we have in our library of channels, you can see that there's a significant difference in the frequency responses of these channels. And our phi is expected to work over all of them. In order to equalize these channels, we have a wide variety of equalizers at our disposal. We have multi-tap transmit equalization, and on the receive side we have both CTLE and DFE equalization. What this means is that we have literally thousands of possible settings. And with so many control bits, while we can set all these control bits manually, it would be both time-consuming and tedious. Moreover, once we fabricate these parts, in silicon we have to deal with process variability, and also we have environmental things like temperature. And as these change, the phi would have to be, each individual phi would have to be set up separately. For all of these reasons, adaptive equalization is definitely the best approach. And fortunately, this does not really take significant overhead. If we look at this diagram here, we can see that it shows the system in general. We have the transmitter on this side, the channel, and our receiver. And what we've added here is this extra sampler that we have in order to get adaptation samples. And what this allows us to do is this allows us to see the effects. So when I change my CTLE boost, I use the adaptation samples in order to see what effect this has had on my uh, final signal. Is this an improvement or isn't this? So these adaptation samples are processed in the low speed digital and various algorithms are used in order to optimally set up all of our different equalizers. Based on information that you have shared with me, it seems as though the adaptive equalization is not just for the receiver side. The transmitter can benefit from an adaptive equalization as well. So are there any phi's that can benefit from adaptation? Yeah, it's a good question, Rita. The PCIe spec and also the Ethernet spec, which includes 10 gigabase KR, explicitly define a back channel, which allows the receiver and the transmitter to communicate. And this allows us to completely optimize our whole system with both transmitter and receive side equalization. Thank you, that is great. For more information, please visit us at synopsis.com slash ethernet. Thank you.